Come on up toward me. We're going to start with the contract. Okay. What I want you to do is um, with your partner, I want one of y'all to be on this side and one of y'all to be on this side of me. As we're sorting ourselves out, it doesn't really matter which person is on which side, I will get you in the right place. Okay, and you are across from your partner. Is that correct? Okay, perfect. From here, what we are going to do is take what's called hands four from the top. You're going to join hands in a little ring of four so that we have separate rings of four all the way up and down. Well, not really far down, but still. <laughs> okay, now, here's the important part. If your back is facing me, if you have to turn around to see me, first off, you're the lucky couple in this ring of four because you don't have to look at me yet. You are the number one couple. If you're looking at me, first off, I'm sorry that you have to do that. You are, guess what you are? Okay, number one couples only. Trade places with your partner so that the lady is in the gentleman's right hand. We should be boy, girl, boy, girl, all the way up and down the hall, perfect. Now, gentlemen, the lady in your right hand is your partner. The lady in your left hand is your neighbor. Okay, in your ring of four, what I want you to do is turn one place to the left so that you are on the same side with your partner. Perfect. Okay, now, your partner is beside you on the set. Your neighbor is across from you. First off, what we're gonna do, bend your elbows a little bit. It's called giving weight. You wanna feel tension between you and everyone who you are dancing with because this is going to help you get where you need to be and be with who you need to, need to be with in time to do what you need to do with them. In this ring of four, I want you to turn all the way around so that you end up right back where you started. Turn to the left one time all the way around. All the way around. So you end up right back where you started. That's perfect. Okay, you know how to circle all the way around now. Now in this particular dance, it starts out by circling left three places. So circle left three places. And that's perfect. You are now on the side with your neighbor where we started originally. You're going to face, drop hands, face your neighbor on the side. And with this neighbor, we're going to do what's called a do -si do You're going to walk forward, passing right shoulders. Go ahead and start doing that. Slide back to back, back up, passing left shoulders and you end up right back where you started. And that is a do -si go So let's everybody do that one more time so we get the hang of it. Walk forward, slide back to back, walk backward. Perfect. Don't worry, you will have plenty of time to practice throughout the evening. We'll probably do a lot of do -si dos Now, with this neighbor, we're gonna learn how to swing. And gentlemen, what I want you to do, first off, look at me up here. Your left hand is going to go out like this, gentlemen. Your right hand is going to be like this. Now, move forward and put those arms around that lady, your neighbor. Perfect. And what you're going to do, walk forward around each other in a circle. And it helps when you're swinging if you look into the person you're swinging's eyes or focus on their nose or focus on something because you'll be swinging a lot and you will get really dizzy. So everybody, try swinging one more time. 
Go around a little bit faster. There we go. Now, you're going to end that swing. Your outstretched arms are holding each other. You're going to end that swing with your outstretched arms pointing into the middle, facing across, and break apart with your outstretched arms. This helps the lady to end up on the gentleman's right. This is very important in contra dancing. Can anybody guess why that might be? Because the lady's always right. That's correct. The lady is always right. Gentlemen, the sooner you figure that out, the better off you'll be not only in contra dancing, but in life in general. Okay, now face your neighbor again, because we're not just going to swing there. We're going to start the swing with a balance. What a balance is, take two hands with your neighbor, and you're going to take a couple steps in toward each other, and a couple steps back out, and then you swing. That's a balance and swing. Into that swing facing across with the lady on the right. Perfect. And you have done the first half of the first dance that we're going to do tonight. Join hands in your ring of four. You're going to recognize this. <laughs> Circle left, three places. With a little bit of luck, this puts you on the side with your partner. Face your partner, and with your partner, do -si do With your partner, balance and swing. In that swing facing the cross with the lady on the right. And the dance is over now. But, if, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> okay, now if you look straight across from you, you'll notice you just danced with that couple. You're bored of dancing with them, aren't you? You don't want to dance with them anymore, do you? Do, do not fear. With your partner, slide a couple of steps to the left so that you are in front of a new couple. <laughs> okay, now we have a couple out at the top, and we may or may not have a couple out at the bottom. Okay. If you are out at the top or bottom, you get to breathe for a few seconds. You get about 30 seconds where you're going to take a break, don't move, don't do anything extravagant because you'll need your breath when you come back in. The rest of you are going to keep dancing. Join hands in your ring of four. Circle left three places. With your neighbor, do -si do With that neighbor, balance and swing. It's a long swing. In that swing, facing across with the lady on the right. Circle left, three places. Partner, do -si do Partner, balance and swing. In that swing, facing across with the lady on the right. Slide left to face a new couple. Is everybody pretty comfortable with that? Okay, let me check something real quick and then we'll be done. Make sure that this is good. It is. Good. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your band tonight is Seldom Sober. So this should be interesting. <laughs> My name is Kenny Greer. I'm down from the Myrtle Beach area. I'm your caller tonight. Yeah. Any train wrecks that happen, I'm responsible for. So, and I'm going to have fun watching them too. <laughs> this dance is called Midwest Folklore by Oris Johnson. Take hands in your ring of four. We're going to dance it with the music. Get ready to circle left three places. Circle left, three places round. Neighbor goes to go. With your neighbor, balance now. You balance and swing. Face across and circle left, three places. Do 
crystal. Neighbor knows you know. With your neighbor, balance now. Balance and swing. Face across and circle left. Three places. Partner goes to go. Partner balance now. Here comes Sandy Swing. Face across, slide left. New couple circle.
partner from the band. Find a new partner to line up for the next concert. Okay. Hey. hey, let's give Kenny a big hand here. Coming all the way from River Beach to call for us tonight. Uh, we'd like to welcome you all here. Uh, this is our monthly confidence. Actually, it's our special, special confidence of the month. We added one. We usually are on the second Saturday of the month. You can pick up a schedule on the table on the, to my left or right there about our upcoming dancers. Um, let's see. We, we've got a, several new dancers here, right? I think Kenny's already picked them out. Uh, if you haven't signed up with our uh, email list, we'd appreciate that. We'll send you announcements out about our upcoming dances. And also, if you're a newcomer, pick up a card that will allow you a free admission to the next dance, or any upcoming dance, if that, for that matter. Uh, our band members, of course, seldom sober. We have Colleen Settle and Fiddle. Michael Corbett on the call. And a couple of these folks will be, dance, will be playing for our next uh, First Friday event on uh, November... February. Se February 2nd. Yeah, yeah. One. One, right, right. And we also have an upcoming concert which will be held at Ascension Bean on February 2nd, Saturday evening. Uh, it's a special concert with Muff and Tumble, it's a uh, husband and wife duo. It uh, really put on an interesting show a couple, several months ago at our first Friday, so hope you can all come out for that. Um, again, we have the information table for the Folk Society over there, we'd appreciate it. If you haven't signed up to be a member, that is also an option available to you. And also check out our website, savannahfolk.org, for any okay. upcoming events. <laughs> anyway, we'll get the uh, rest of the dance uh, going here with Kenny.